So today I want to go over one very easy strategy you can follow while leveling up to help yourself once you get into the end game that can potentially result in you getting more unique items once you've gotten into world tier three. Now the first and most important part of this is to save all of the caches you get for doing any of the side quests in Diablo 4. And if you're unaware, completing basically any side quest anywhere in the world will award you a cache of loot at some point during this quest. Now some some of them will give you caches of like harvestable resources or herbs or something like that but when completing most of the side quests that you actually pick up from an npc you'll usually end up getting a cache that'll give you some gear some gold and some murmuring obols and that's the one thing that's very important for this strategy because any of these caches that give murmuring obols, you're gonna wanna save those until you get into world tier three. And to get into world tier three, you have to beat the main campaign, then you have to complete the level 50 capstone dungeon, which I completed at level 48. So you're still gonna have to be around level 50 to complete that as well. But once you get into world tier three, you can go open up all of those caches and pick up all of the murmuring obols, because once you get into world tier three, that's when you're going to want to start spending those murmuring obols at the gambling vendor. And the reason you want to save all of these murmuring obols for world tier three is because you can get sacred and unique items out of the gambling vendor. Now it has been confirmed by the developers that you won't be able to get every unique item in the game from the gambling vendor, but you will still be able to get some of the uniques and you'll still have a chance to get sacred versions of your legendary or unique pieces from from this vendor as well and all of this unlocks once you get into world tier 3. So once you've gotten to that point, gotten to world tier 3, make sure it's on, go open up all your caches, get all your murmuring obols and go spend them at this gambling vendor. And if you even want to be more optimal with this, you'd want to be capped on murmuring obols already once you get into world tier 3 to go spend that full cap and then open up all your caches, get more of those obols and spend all of those as well. And if you're someone that likes to do a lot of side quests while leveling up, this is going to be very good for you. Because if you're lucky, you could potentially hit world tier three, go spend all your obols and get one of those sacred items that would be a pretty big buff, even if it had bad stats, or you could potentially get very lucky and get a unique item, which would just be completely ridiculous. So save all of those side quest caches for once you hit world tier three, then get to gambling. And that's all I want to go over. So thanks for watching.